Let's try this. So this brings us down to here. I don't actually know if I can go out of this door. I might have to take the elevator somewhere else. Oh no, here we go. Nice! Okay. Sweet. And then we can probably just take the elevator again. Hey, three, how's it going? I am not gonna deal with you guys, yep. Oh my god. Come on, just let me- just let me flee when I want to flee, huh? How about that? Just let- just let me run! I don't want to go through the process of doing this! This does not add to my enjoyment, just let me- Oh, fuck. Alright, that was my fault. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so close to just, like, loading a save state if this doesn't work. Fuck's sake, really? Just kill me then! If that's what you want to do. Just murder me. You ridiculous animals. So we gotta go all the way down and then- Oh, use the elevator to get out. Oh, hold on, what's that? Nothing. Okay. Good. Quick heal. You don't need to walk back through the core. Well, too late. <laughs> See ya, Kia. Too late, I'm doing it. It's already happening. I like this music a lot anyway. Totally worth it. Gotta go. Take it easy, Hank. So that elevator- oh, okay, so that elevator does work now and it connects to here. I see. I gotcha. Hey! Uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human! You have to deliver something for me! Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyruses. See ya, punk! What? Oh, shit, okay. Well, hold on a tick here. What's going on? See if we can find ourselves a uh, quick travel path over to Snowden. Wait, no, this is our... This is just gonna lead me back up to the, uh... The stage place, right? Oh, yeah, this does nothing for me. Fuck. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hey, this is... This is definitely uncharted territory here. This is part of the pacifist run? How do people know to do this? And where's the boatman? I think the boatman was below this restaurant, right? Maybe I'm just going all the- I'm going all the wrong directions here. <laughs> I'm really good at that, man. I'm- I'm very talented an adept at finding every possible way that I can go, but is not the right way. Flowey tells you at the- oh, okay, cool. That makes sense. Where the fuck do I go? So I go down here and then to the right, I think? Let's go this way. Yeah, where is the boatman? I don't know. I think it's... Oh, we take the elevator, and then it's like... Left, I think? Take the elevator to L1. Bam. And then go to the boatman who was down here. Yes, there we go. tra -la -la. Snowden! Sweet! Alright, on our way back. Holy fuck! <laughs> what the hell is that? Tra la la, Tammy Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Ooh, see, there's where the hunts are, or the uh, hints, not the hunts. Yay, navigation! Come again sometime. Tra la la. 
<laughs> it's a Tem boat, yeah. Oh, that's great. Alright! What do you got for me, Undyne? Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter. To Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well... It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there! So here you go. <laughs> you got the Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you! Thanks so much, you're the best! Undyne writes a lot of letters. But she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you. Because you have no standards. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Unique letter written for Dr. Alphys. Well, I have to read it. Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking kill you! Oh. <laughs> she, she can see me. That was... that was smart. Uh, okay, so just take this to Dr. Alphys. Sure, I can do that. So let's go back to Hotland. Yes. Good, good, good. Apparently this is all just like a giant moat. That connects everything in a circle. Hmm. I should have worn a few more pairs of pants today. <laughs> oh, she has eyes. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot about that critical plot point. Alright, enough with the all caps backseating, guys. I'm on board with it when it's like the necessary stuff. Slide the letter on. No! You'll keep the letter warm for a little longer. What? The door, uh, I don't wanna... I guess you slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, oh no, is that another letter? I don't wanna open it. Can I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um... Shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. What? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god, did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. I had no idea you wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, uh... This. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay. I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah. Let's go on a date. Oh. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Wait, what was the button to open up my dating interface? I gotta remember that. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Uh, anyway, let's do this thing. Woohoo! Uh, hey, wait! Actually, we still can't start the date yet. <laughs> Stop! I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stuck the uh, stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe you can't use that, but. I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales! Your, uh... Scales... 
Oh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Um... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating, start! Yeah, let's, uh, date! Oh, the C button didn't work. Uh... Do you... Like... Anime? No. Oh. <clears throat> hey, let's go somewhere! But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it! Well, let's go to the garbage dump! <laughs> oh my god! Here we are! This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. She's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you! Why? Because, uh... Oh, why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes! Hey! There you are! I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it! Give it to me! Huh? You don't have it? Have you at least seen her? Uh, n nope. No? But she wasn't at home. Where the heck could she be? Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? Look at me being a little player down here in the underground, huh? Juggling both women. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry, I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you? To make you feel better? Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. It certainly does, yeah. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, uh, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, uh, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Always be honest. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. Huh. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Obviously, let's... <laughs> Obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? Uh, I'll be Undyne. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? You're cute. <laughs> you say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. But I know you just mean it platonically, because we're just friends. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to... Uh, talk to you about something. What? Then she kisses you! No, what is it, Alphys? Um, you see, I... I, I, have, I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You see, I... I... Oh, forget it! Undyne! I... 
I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and, and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like to telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne! I can't take this any longer! I'm madly in love with you! Hold me, Undyne! Hold me! What did you just say? Uh, uh, Undyne! I, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two... on a date? Uh, yes! I mean, uh, uh, no! I mean, we were, but, uh, uh, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you! What?! I, I mean... I mean... Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What?! About what?! About... Well... Everything! I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important. Really, I just used it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those... Those are just... Uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas that time of Alphys. I... I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some... nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I... I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Whoa! Nailed it! Alphys! I... I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've gotta realize... Most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap! What I like about you is that you're passionate! You're analytical! It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it! 100% at maximum power! So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you... You're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> yes! Now I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog 100 laps hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Undyne! I'll do my best. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics... Those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? <laughs> oh my god! Anime is not real. No! No! I can feel my heart breaking into pieces! No, I can survive this. I have to be strong. For Alphys. Thank you, human. For telling me the truth. I'll try my best to live in this world. See you later! Jesus Christ, that was... Oh, that was exceptional. How the hell did we end up down here? Anime is real if you believe. Partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. Awesome. Seriously, how the hell did we end up down here again? Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me! This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. 
I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh God! Okay, let's go to uh, let's go to Alphys's house, I guess. The fastest way to get there, though, is probably not what I'm doing right now. In fact, I think I need to go. Where do I need to go? This is Undine's house. It sounds like- no, it does sound like a very good idea. Not that way. The river man is right there. Down near shop. What? Oh, that's right, yeah, he's- oh, okay, I remember, I remember. Yep. I remember, I got it. Sorry, I always forget. Yes, I'm going to Hotland. Good. And I think this, uh... I think this drops us off pretty damn close to Alphys' house, isn't it? Hemi Village. I love that that's a cat. Or a Tem, I guess, isn't it? It's gotta be a Tem. Okay, another quick save, and then there we go! Oh, Dr. Alphys! Oh, Dr. Alphys! Oh! It's a note from Alphys. Yes. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey! Thanks for your help back there. You guys... Your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't ma magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this node. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Huh. Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power! M tether stability lost. All to do dropping. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king had asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. I got the shin at the end of it. Oh, the determination finally surfaces, huh? Oh, 
Oh, no determination here, though. The true laboratory. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. Oh, this music is really good. Chisps. What are chisps? Potato chisps. Regular old potato chisps, all right. Fine by me. Stay determined, bear! Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose. And soon they'll all turn into dust. Well, what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then... Freedom might be closer than we all thought. I want to check these uh, other things real fast before I go this way. No, I can't do anything with that. Okay. And that is not going to open. All right. There it is, then. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? I think I'm gonna try to beat the game tonight, Doctor. It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Huh. Hi! What? What? Uh... No data available! I see! Mini Gigas. What the hell, man? This is kind of tough, too. Fuck! I have my hot cat. Meow! <coughs> okay, that's an easy. I, I have no idea what you're talking about, Blarchar. I do not know what sound font is. Huh. You take out your cell phone, you can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Memory head. Sure. You'll be with us shortly. Lorum Ipsum Doset. Couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, kind of figuring this out. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Right on, Blutchar. Gotcha. What if I check them now? Nothing. It's a real get-together. This is very interesting. Hmm. He's seeing you. Okay, that does basically nothing, as far as I can tell. Fuck. Little by little. Oh! There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it on your keychain. Good. It seemed like it was... 
Maybe a little too easy of an ending. I'm skeptical. No, yeah, they're not even trying to hide it at that point, Zeke. Pretty damn straightforward with their inspirations there, wearing it on their sleeves. Okay. Drain dropped it. Oh, okay, cool. Red key fits perfectly into the slot. The red switch has been turned on, okay. So that must have opened the door in the other room, right? Save one more time. Oh my god, we have three other doors to open. What? How do you open all three doors? Maybe we go this way now. Oh, there we go. I see. Okay. Interesting. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Oh, God. <laughs> Lie on it? Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on a second. We're gonna have some Freddy Krueger shit going down in here? Kinda seems like it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, let's go for it. All right. Just wait. Just wait. What is it? What is it? Ew! Oh, okay. Wait, no, ew. Wait, no, I don't get it anymore. What? Oh. Oh, thank you. That's a nice spoon. <laughs> okay. Good. I'm glad I did that. Yay. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of another monster, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. Feels pretty good, Heater. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. I have a feeling this mirror is gonna turn on me. I knew it! Yeah, totally. Uh-huh. Sure. You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Shubin and Affin enough! Oh my god, I wish I could just like look at my face. Wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't that be great if I had a way for you to just see my face going... Like that, that would be weird. You pick on comma, it seemed effective. Bladder made choice. What the fuck, man? <laughs> ah! Ah, uh, mystify! You did something mysterious. Blank recognizes it has more to learn from this world. No, we... 
We've seen all this happen. Our. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, I gotta find... You wash your hands, nothing happened. Maybe we just have to do, like, every single one? Oh, God. Jesus. The only one I haven't done is pray. You kneel and pray for safety. Reaper Bird seems to remember so- Oh, hey! Someone finally gets it, Ribbit Ribbit Courage. Good. Okay, if I go all- oh, oh, fuck. Oh, wow, one hit point. Okay, he's good. Wonderful. Holy crap! Cold. Oh, I didn't get the key. Where's the key, then? There must be something I missed in here. I need to heal, too. Hold on. Yeah, let's go touch this. Maybe I need to go up in this room? Have some chisps, yeah. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it? I sent the souls in the vessel back to Asgore, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. It's freaky, man. Now that Metaton's made it big, he'll, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. There's a switch on the wall. Yes. Kitty? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Sure are you... You are nightmare fuel, aren't you? Yes, you are. It's the amalgamate. It's the amalgamate. It's the amalgamate. That's the word. Uh, it's a dog. It's unclear how many dogs this counts as. Yeah. Oh, this music is weird. Beckon. You call the amalgamate. It bounds toward you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. No, it's a rocket car. Oh, shit. Rocket dog. Rocket dog. Amalgamate is hovering close, looking for affection. Let's pet it. You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. That's not what I wanted it to do. That's not adorable or endearing in any way. Striking the wall with its claws. Uh, play with it. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. That's not what I- that is not at all what I wanted to do! The Amalgamate brings it back to you proudly! You repeat this process a few times, now Amalgamate is very tired! It leans its dripping, amorphous body on you. You. Rocket dog! Ah! Jesus! Amalgamate is twitching affectionately. Uh, pet it. You pet the Amalgamate, it starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. Ew. It's getting a lot more uncomfortable. Amalgamate's convulsions intensify. Uh, pet it again. You pet decisively. The Amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Endogeny is contented. Yay! Good. Ugh. 
Uh, that was interesting. Crack on the wall, I thought for sure something would be there. Okay, so we've turned on the fans now, which means something ideally will have changed here, right? Or were we supposed to get something from... that fight? Because we didn't. Do, 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 do. Well, we do have another way to go up here, so I might as well do it. Check it out! No, 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 no! Oh, wait, what? That was 16, this was 15. 15 was the happy one. Oh, shit. Yay. <laughs> that was, that was a nice one. All right, good. Hey, Kate. Uh, I'm not really using it much these days. No, Uncle! Back to the room with the flowers and read the log. What are you talking about? Should I... Uh, it doesn't need to be... Uh, it's easier to stick and let you go. Oh, hold on a second. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever there has to work with anyway, the seats just stick to you and won't let go. What does that mean for me? I'm just gonna figure this out by myself. Sorry, yeah, I'm not gonna let you guys hold my hand here because now I'm, at, now I'm in this place. I should be able to figure this out. So let me just... Let me just find these keys. And the questions I ask out loud, let's treat them as, uh, rhetorical until I otherwise... ...ask. Oh, come on! Smells like sweet lemons! Let's scream at lemon bread! You screamed out, but nobody came. Welcome to my special hell! Oh, how fun! Oh, God. You let lemon bread be, lemon bread's teeth shake. Do you think I'm pretty? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we do, lemon bread. This one's freaky. You hum a familiar tune, lemon bread's body shakes. Okay, I got this. Oh, come on. Showing up right with the teeth. You flexed your arm. Lemon bread seems to remember something. I've felt this before. Oh, God. Oh, damn it. There we go. Oh, my God. Could this be goodbye? Goodbye, lemon bread. DT Extraction Machine status inactive. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Seems to contain samples of some kind. I'd like to save again. I should probably eat something. Let's have some potato chips. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. <laughs> Thanks, Asgore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. No, it's not. It was shaking around. I saw it. What's in you? I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my elephant. How do we get... 
Ah, you mysterious little thing, I see. It's so cold. You said something like, You look horrible. Why are you even alive? <laughs> what? You didn't say that? Snowy. Oh. You call this a performance? Snowy. Okay. You laugh, and keep laughing. It's so funny, you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? What the hell? Uh... You told a bad pun about snow, her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I... Remember... A single snowy tear. Another joke. You told a bad pun about snow, her expression changes more. Haha. <laughs> Thank you. This sure is hilarious! You told a bad pun about snow, she's completely calmed down. Oh. Oh good. That's nice. Alright then. Well, we're gonna have to go back eventually, so let's just... Let's just keep moving forward, I guess. Oh, we can put the green key in here now. Curtain. Awesome. Well then. That was a whole fun new trip. Under sheets. He had just played with a few tapes pick out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Psst. Gory, wake up. Mm -hmm. What is it, dear? Uh, why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest. What is my favorite vegetable? Mm. Carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is... Edamame! Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet! <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Mm. I don't know, honey. Slacker Belmont! Eight months on the pile! Thank you very much for keeping that sub up, buddy. I would be... a Mamaranian! Ho ho ho! You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like these... One day, you could be... a famous Mamedian. Well, I am going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. I'm almost funny. Ha ha ha, I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Use <laughs> the tape to watch, let's go to two. What? Okay, Bear, are you ready? Do your creepy face! Ah! He, he, he. Oh wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me! <laughs> These are tapes of me. Howdy, bear! Smile for the camera. Ha! <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. Ha ha ha! What? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. But we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom pretty upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. 
Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Tape four. Hi. I don't like this idea, Bear. What? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Bear. Never. Y yeah. We'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Bear, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Bear, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst. Bear, please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... I... No, I said... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Workman abs, hey! Okay, alright, Sticks, you got it, man. I've been putting this off forever. There, take care of us. You monster. Alright, I do not have the yellow switch. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Huh. Okay, where have I not gone? Do, 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 do. Where have I not gone? Hold on a second. Maybe I have to put this key in first. And that way, I unlock some other area. Okay, there's that. I already checked out everything in here. You'd be surprised, Patty. <laughs> be surprised at how bad it is. That's not terrible, I guess. Clock is broken. Did I read this one already? Oh, everyone that had fallen down has all woke up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Hmm. Okay, the, uh... Oh, it said, like, curtains or something? Or covers, maybe? Maybe it's in one of the beds. Oh, here we go. Yes. There we go, nice. Cool, okay. That makes sense. Good, good, good. Yeah, thank you for uh, taking care of the backseating. I appreciate it if you guys just let me take it from here, pretty much. I think I've been guided in all the right ways, and I need to just do things myself now. Alright, that's all four. Bear, do you like spaghetti? I feel like that can't just be a, a genuine heartfelt question. I feel like you're setting me up for something. Maybe that's just my... my Twitch cynicism... boiling over. There's no way! You just want to know if I like spaghetti, right? There's a bigger meaning to this. Okay, three, I got you, man. Here we go. This is weird. Wait, so there's an elevator. Seems like the, another elevator has lost its power. Okay. Seems to be turned off. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Yes. No thanks! No, I'm good. I'm good. I'll pass. Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? 
Uh, oh. Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had and... Anyway! The power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you're one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might... not come back. That's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid. To tell the truth. That I might run away or do something. Cowardly. Uh, I... I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike human monsters, or unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take these concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon all the test subjects had melted together into... those. Seeing them like this, I knew... I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing... Everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now... Now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on. I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Oh. That's kind of a feel-good ending, right? I've chosen the candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Oh... The flower's gone. Oh, okay. It's a voice you have never heard before. There. Are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Bear. See you soon.